Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst, Emmanuel Ifeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Good morning Tundo. Good morning, Mr. Ifeni. Good morning, Leila. Let's start with these day newspapers. Buhari condemns attack as Boko Haram kills 30 in Borno, says federal government determined to frustrate bid to hold Nigeria to ransom. Military. Maiduguri Damaturu Road now closes at 4 p.m. Now other papers are also reporting this story. The Daily Trust. Boko Haram fighters killed 30 stranded travelers in Borno. Mother, infant among victims, others abducted. All Boko Haram captives will be freed. Buari, while the Vanguard newspaper, 30 killed, 18 vehicles, houses burned in fresh Boko Haram attack. Only 10, not 30 killed. Theater Commander Operation Lafia, Lafia Dule. Governor Zulum asked military to move checkpoint. Buhari, I will continue to frustrate Boko Haram. Rebs fought military on honor. Carnage. Yes, another day of. Um, it's another sad day. Tragic. Yes. Absolutely tragic. Very tragic. 30 military saying 10. Well, even if it, it is one. It is one. Uh, Just as no, troops fact, have also been You know, these figures, they add up over time. Mm -hmm. In January, 320 Nigerians were killed. January 2020 were killed by Boko Haram, Iswap, bandits. Cattle rustlers, kidnappers. Now we are counting, this is February, we are counting. So whether it's 10, 1, they add up at the end of the day. These are mm. lives of Nigerians we are talking about. The president has promised to frustrate the bid of Boko Haram to hold Nigeria to ransom. Well, if they are not already holding Nigeria to ransom, according to the president, uh, as members of the armed forces, that Nigeria will continue to receive more hardware and intelligence to counter our current security challenges, the remnants of Boko Haram will ultimately be crushed before they are things, crushed. Two Ruben. things about this uh, Maiduguri Damachuru Road, which has become very notorious, uh, and which has been given the governor of Borono State a lot of heartache. You will recall that this is about the second time, within a short while, that the governor of Borono State has had to uh, register his uh, displeasure, you know, um, about the operation Lafayette Dole in that northeastern uh, corridor. The other time, uh, he protested when motorists were kept waiting overnight and were not allowed to travel, and they were being extorted by soldiers, and he raised uh, his voice in defense of the people. Now, is this same Maiduguri Damaturu Road now that we're being told, you know, is shut down at 4 p.m.? And now what happens is that motorists, travelers, they are stranded on the road, and they become easy targets for terrorists. And this is particularly what happened in this Auno uh, village yeah. when terrorists came from nowhere and started killing people, and they even set vehicles ablaze. And we're told that this was just about 21 or 24 kilometers away from where the soldiers were stationed. And they were able to do whatever they did, you know, and they escaped, and the soldiers could not come to the rescue of the people. I think that just should compel the commander of that operation, General Lucia Guadini, that's Operation Lafayette, <coughs> Dole, in mm -hmm. the Northeast, to take a second look at the strategy that has been adopted. You know, you can't just have one strategy that is not working. Shutting down the road, yes, uh, maybe a way of, uh, you know, uh, protecting the people in principle, but we are seeing that that is not working. The, the, the Boko Haram terrorists, they, they have now found a way around it, and these people just become hostage, yeah. and they, they are, are sitting ducks waiting to yeah. be taken There's by There's nobody to have them. Yeah. The second part of it is that instead of the soldiers just waiting at a checkpoint where they close uh, the road, will it not be a, a wiser thing to even patrol 
the entire stretch exactly. of that road. No, you, you know, know what it once is. they shut down mm. the road. I don't know if it was just a knee-jerk reaction from the theater commander, mm. but from his initial comments, it does not appear that he's going to go back to the drawing board yeah. at all. He placed the onus on members of the public that, look, you know there's a curfew. What are you doing on the road at this time? Mm -hmm. If you are not being lawful, then you have yourself to blame. You are vulnerable. And I think the reason why the soldiers are not patrolling, why they go and they close the gates, is because the soldiers themselves are they trying to preserve their own lives. They become vulnerable. Yes. So he has placed the oh. onus on the members of the public <laughs> and essentially appeared to blame these people for their own tragedy. Yeah. That what were you doing on the road in the first case? Honestly. Well, at, at 4 p.m. Ruben, I mean, there will be commercial activities. It's not well, as if no. no, no, this quiet. is a private room. If it's a large truck, you have to leave where you're going at noon so you can be away Over from that. here at a certain time. Yeah. If it's a smaller car, it's, they're very specific mm. yeah. about this curfew that you must not be on this road or you will be killed. That uh, Maduguri, uh, Damatru Road, I think it's over 100 Which kilometers. Which is why they said, that's why they said yeah. If you have well, uh, uh, Ruben, for the soldiers, yeah. like any other human being, Self-preservation. Yes, they talk about it. They, they, no, they, they, they cannot be given excuses. And I think it's uh, disingenuous. He placed on it on the, on the people who died. Adini, yeah. To be blaming the, the people. Blame. Exactly. The, yeah. same the victims. People that he has been engaged Terrible. to protect. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry, Ruben, can I just add to that as well? I think a very important call that was also put in here is the fact that parents should be wary about taking your children through these highways in school uniform because they're easier targets. And that's very important because it's true. And we often forget that. Children are often the targets when it comes to terror attacks. Oh, my God. Well, if, uh, if General Adini, the commander of Operation Lavi Adole, is blaming the people, where the governor of the state, who should know better, yes, is blaming the, the military. Yeah, no, exactly. Look, Ruben, the fact is that things are degenerating. Ahead of the 2019 election, the immediate past governor of Bonu State went to Aso Rock, Aso Villa, weep where he shed tears to go and weep. that the situation in Bonu State yeah. is now at the, the same level of 2014. Yeah. That's the governor there who's, who made that statement. And if from holding territory now, Boko, because of Boko Haram, people cannot move in certain areas. I don't know what is the difference. And the other issue, mm -hmm. Governor Zulum said that there was a security report. There was a warning yeah. and nothing was done. Yeah. So it's, it's just an absolute tragedy. It's such a so tragedy. I, I think it's Operation Lafayette Dole that needs to be revealed. And Certainly. Another strategy uh, to be considered. Because that operation and, is in place. And for the commander of the operation and his troops. To, to put on their thinking caps. Yeah. We yeah. don't not, want not their excuses. The victims. We want people protected. Well, well not, not just the theater commander. There's a broad strategy from the military high command, yes. from the defense headquarters, from the army headquarters, which he is implementing. Well, if the commander of Operation Lavi Adole doesn't know what to do, then they should change him, replace him with someone else. Well, not replace the chief of army staff. <laughs> and other top military, uh, other uh, service chiefs who have overstayed their tenure. Well, let's move on to other stories, uh, Ruben. Um, let's look at uh, the Nigerian Tribune. Yes, of course, uh, Southwest, where the governors have taken the destiny of their people into their own hands. Amoteku bill, Nigerian Tribune, Amoteku bill will become law on February 14, fire me. And of course, the Nation newspaper reporting similar story. Southwest governors to sign a Mateku bill Friday. Yes, the attorneys general of these states, I think they have come up with the bill, which the governors have cited. But uh, fi uh, fire me, Dr. Kennedy, fire me, said he hasn't read it, but he believes it will be something that is acceptable to them. And it will be taken to the ho houses of assembly, the various houses of assembly. It will be given accelerated uh, passage, and by Friday, there's likely to be a simultaneous signing of the bill across the Southwest, giving legal teeth, as it were, to the Amoteku operations. And let's hope uh, when that comes on, other zones are, like we, we, the Southeast have already indicated, are also working in this direction to form their own security network, because the police, as we know it today, the army, as we have in this country today, well, they seem to be overstretched, to put it in a more charitable way.
<laughs> well, there are two parts, you know, to this um, Amortecum bill, as you call it. Uh, the attorney generals of the uh, various states in the southwest met, and they did a draft. Okay, and each state is supposed to go and domesticate it. So you have a Kitty State Security uh, Network Initiative Bill, uh, uh, or your state Security Initiative Bill. And of course, the good thing is that the various houses of assembly, you know, are of the same mind as the governors and also the uh, people. So there should be no problem in any of the states about, you know, getting the bill uh, passed. As I said, there are two parts. The first part, dealing with the purpose of the, uh, of the uh, security initiative in itself, uh, which is to provide security uh, to, uh, you know, monitor highways and all that, and then to collaborate with the police, you know, to share intelligence with the police, and when they arrest people, to hand over such persons uh, to the police. Um, the second major part for me is the fact that there is a complaints board, an Amotekun complaints board, so that where there are any breaches or misconduct on the part of the uh, Amotekun uh, officials, then, of course, that board, you can go and place your complaints before it. And measures will be taken to prevent the abuse of the initiative. And for me, that's the major part of the uh, proposed uh, uh, legislation. Uh, the third part of it, of course, is what the governors themselves have said, that they are going to apply to the federal government to get gun licenses, you know, for uh, Amotekun operators. So we see how that plays out. But in all of this... You know, Lagos State has been unusually silent. Yeah, Is Lagos exactly. State part of this Amoteku initiative? Well, we'll, 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 know by, we'll, we'll know by Friday. We'll know by Friday. But Friday. whether they receive the, the bill in Lagos yeah, because State. I've not seen Lagos State saying anything or and you recall that any major Lagos, Lagos official taking part. Yeah. You don't attend weather. Yeah. So that sends a mm -hmm. dodgy signal. But and there will be silence from Lagos and the Lagos political uh, well, establishment. Yes. yes. It's no, an then, 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 then there okay. was, <laughs> I think that's a better word. Then there was, there was a really sort of vague statement eventually, wasn't there? Yeah, there was neither, neither here nor there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Some well, let's see. Things. Let's we'll see find out. whether Lagos is uh, acting differently. We'll know in the next couple of days. Let's move to uh, foreign newspapers outside the shores of Nigeria. The UK, the Daily Telegraph, police can force virus carriers into quarantine. I should hope so. Yes. And... It's not looking good in the UK. Daily Mail, virus UK. How many more are infected? Eight struck down in Britain, including two GPs. Frantic hunt for patients were on the loose. Health experts fears major outbreak in the UK. Well, scary. Wow. Thank Thank you. You. We'll have to Thanks, draw the Mr. curtain Fanny. here. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. Know, we'll see you tomorrow morning.